Whew gorgeous temperate grassland ecosystems like this here develop in the rain shadows of mountain ranges where they receive significantly less amounts of moisture than on the other side which is the main limiting growth factor for vegetation here despite having substantially more sunshine as a result it's much more difficult for trees and bigger plants to establish so these ecosystems are dominated by grasses and grass-like species which have adapted to flourish in the spring when water is present before going dormant during the long drought cycles of the summer storing their nutrients in rich root systems that go deep into the soil these ecosystems store about 30 34% of the planet's carbon, making them some of the highest carbon stores in the world, while also being home to a diverse range of mammals, reptiles, birds, insects, in addition to the herbaceous plant and fungi species that live here. However, in the past couple hundred years, colonization has not been kind to grassland ecosystems, which are often the most threatened ecosystem types on every continent. Here in Canada, we've lost over 74% of our native grasslands as a result of agriculture, livestock use, development, urban sprawl, and invasive species. And here in British Columbia, they currently make up less than 1% of all the land in the province, which is still being lost to urban sprawl in staggering amounts every year. With the loss of healthy grassland ecosystems, not only do we lose important carbon stores that are crucial in mitigating the impacts of anthropogenic climate change, but that biodiversity loss threatens these ecosystems' ability to adapt and survive within a changing climate, and that has some serious implications for the future of the world we live in. It's critical that we reduce the destruction of the remaining grassland ecosystems that exist while working to remove invasives and restore the biodiversity of those which have been damaged, like the Grasslands Conservation Council of BC is doing, in order to create a healthy, vibrant future for these incredible ecosystems and all who live amongst them, from badgers to burrowing owls to humans like you and I.